the new Narava is our most popular convertible car seat at Magic Beans, and I'm so excited about doing a full studio review of the new Narava. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know I've done many reviews of the new Narava. I love it. But I haven't done an in-studio review of this product in a very long time. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Rava step-by-step -step to help you figure out whether the Rava is right for you. And if you're still confused after this video, I would suggest you book a free virtual consultation with one of our experts at mbeans.com consultations. Email us your questions to questions at mbeans.com. Give us a call at 617-383-8259 or just leave a comment below. And remember, the Nuna Rava is available to buy from us from Magic Beans with free shipping. And here is my review of the Nuna Rava. I have the Nuna Rava here and I'm so excited about showing you this car seat. Now I've done many Nuna Rava videos on the channel, but they're typically at trade shows and done on my phone. So I have not done a real in-depth in-studio review of the Rava in a long time like a very long time. So if you have questions about the Rava, this video should really help you uh, figure it out. Like I said, I have there are many more reviews of the Rava and I'd recommend that you subscribe to the channel, see them as they come out and see our former videos as well. So anyway, without further ado, here is the Rava. It is a convertible car seat. What does that mean? You can have it go in rear facing position and then you could turn it around and have it go in the forward facing position position. Now, like, like all lunar car seats, it is flame retardant free. So there are no added chemicals to that they add to the seat to make it flame retardant, which is awesome. And it's Green Guard Gold certified, which means that it passes all the standards for safety and eco-friendliness, which is great. So we don't have off-gassing and other chemicals going into our babies' bodies when they're in car seats, which we don't want to have happen. Now, when you look at a convertible car seat, one of the things you want to look at is what is the rear facing limit. So the extent, this has it's called extended rear facing. It has a rear facing weight limit of 50 pounds. That's like a five year old, it's, a, it's an older kid. And th what we want is for a child to be rear facing in a car seat as long as possible. Why is that? So you can see the driver is here. This is the back of the car seat. And if you're in a car, think about it. If you are, God forbid, in a crash, your car is gonna move in this direction. So if your child is sitting rear facing, then their whole spine, their whole back area is going to be just go into the seat, will go into the seat, versus if it's forward facing, everything kind of like thrashes forward. Um, so it is the safest way to ride to go rear facing, so why not have your child rear facing as long as possible and so that is what this car seat is set up to. Now note that your child's legs are gonna be against the front of the seat, especially as their legs get bigger, if they're 50 pounds or 48 pounds. Don't worry about it if they are sitting like crisscross applesauce or if they are sitting, they are, they're going to be fine, their legs are gonna be fine. There's no evidence that there's any trauma or, uh, or problems with kids' legs being up against the back seat. But wait, the Rava has extended rear, um, has extra leg room extended leg room, watch this. So in the front of the seat, you just pull this down and you get two extra inches of leg room when you're in the rear facing. So that's extra comfort for the baby. Now also, it's very easy to recline this. On other car seats, you may have seen the reviews before, there is sort of like a lever on the front to make it recline into two positions, but there are 10 positions of recline that's really easy. There's a button right here, you just push down the button and you can seamlessly move the car seat. Now that does two things. Number one, it gives you multi-level positions so as your child gets older, you can have them in the right position. But a question that we get all the time on Instagram and on the comments on YouTube, you should email me your questions to questions at mbeans.com is, will the seat take up a lot of space in the back seat? And that is a really good question. And when a different type of portable car seat sort of like just tilts backwards, it will bop into the passenger side or the driver's side. But check this out, with the Rava, because it's on this kind of like swiveling base, you can see as you recline it, it pulls in. So it pulls away from the driver's seat it pulls away from the passenger seat. Note, it's not unsafe for there to be some like touching between the driver's side and the back of the seat. But again, you if you don't wanna have, if you want it to be comfortable for a taller driver in the front seat, this might be a nice feature of the Rava. 
There is, it is non, a non-rethread harness seat, meaning that you can just pull up this um, sort of button on the top and you can, it can go up to 49 inches. So that is a, it can last a long time. There are also great side impact protection pods on the side here. So there are three layers of side impact protection. Another nice feature, this is a really awesome car seat. But as you may have seen in the videos before, many, many car seats are installed incorrectly. And the reality is that if you have, you can have the best car seat in the world with three layers of impact protection, but if it's not installed properly, then you are like you're out of luck. So this is how you, this again, this is not an installation video. I'm just gonna demonstrate how this is supposed to be installed. So um, you unbuckle this and then underneath all of this fabric here, there is a, there are two compartments. There is a blue compartment and a red compartment. Um, blue signifies rear facing on the Rava, red is forward facing and you open up this little door and it's designed for seat belts to be the preferred way of installing the car seat. So there's also a cup holder on the side, just so you know, there are two cup holders, but the cup holder is also a path to route your seat belt. So you're gonna put your seat belt through underneath the cup holder. So I'm also need to have this in the, so the rear facing. Position. I have that in the blue in the rear facing recline. It's in the right angle in the rear facing. I put it through and then all you do is you um, just take a little bit of slack. You don't really need to do much of that at all. And then you just close the door and boom. The tension has tensioned down the seatbelt and you are have it easily installed. Now, they do in include those latches, those lower anchor and tether like staple type things to use your lower anchors. You may install your infant car seat with those little bars in the back seat. But again, this is designed to be installed with the seat belt optimally. There's a reason for that. There is a weight limit that you have to stop using those latch connectors. When the combination of the child and the seat together is 65 pounds, you really need to use the seat belt. So it's really great that the Rava is optimized for seatbelt usage to extend the life of your car seat. Um, it is a very similar installation on the forward facing position where you sort of route it through, close the door and install it in the forward facing position as well. Now, the last piece, like I said, I closed the tensioning plate. What you wanna do as a last step is you wanna actually take your seatbelt, pull it all the way out to the very end to switch over the retractor to a ratcheting position and then you are, have it installed, boom, great. Uh, so again, rear facing to 50 pounds, easy install, also your cup holders, flame retardant free. And then you just unlock it. And you close it down. And then what you would do is you would close these cup holders as well put it back into the red position and then you can again move it forward facing and your child can be in the seat up to 65 pounds which is really nice and big um, like I said the Rava is one of our favorite car seats it's also in my roundup of the best convertible car seats of 2020 and you can watch a video right after this video see you at the next video Thank you.